So, hello everybody, what is going on dudes, it is Kiva Shimaka here, and welcome to Pokemon Yellow! Now, I decided to actually play this game because it's an old retro classic, why not? And also, I'm recording this around the time that, like, it's just a few weeks before Sword and Shield is released, so to everyone who's playing with it, playing that game, shout out to you, I unfortunately am not, I'm broke, but that's fine. Um, uh, let's just jump right into it. Let's enjoy an old classic journey. Now, things might be a little bit on the slow side, but that's just because this is classic um, Game Boy Color. So, it might be a little slow, but hope you guys can do it. Hello there! Welcome to the world of Pokemon. You've all heard this kind of spiel. My name is Oak. You will call me the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited by creatures called Pokemon. We got a Pikachu, we got Chonky Pikachu. We got Gigantamax Pikachu! <laughs> for some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for fights. Myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. Hmm. First, what is your name? My name is just a good old classic man. Right. That is my name. So, you know, don't wear it out. <laughs> there you go. Right, so your name is Ice. This is my grandson. He's been your rival since you were eight. Mm, what's his name again? His name is Blue in this game. Even though in Fire and Leaf Green he was Gary, we call him Blue. That's right, I remember now. His name is Blue. Mm -hmm. I see. Your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon always. Let's go. Yeah, let's definitely head on out. And here we are! We hear that classic movie music. Let's not waste any time. Let's just jump right into it. First off, let's get ourselves our potion, which is always a good thing to do. And let's just head on downstairs. Let's see our ma. Hello, mother. You have anything to say to us? Right. All boys leave home someday. It said so on TV. Professor Oak next door is looking for you. Hmm. Seems standard. Well, let's go and let's head out to the grass and try to find Oak. Hey, wait! Don't go out! That was close. All Pokemon live in tall grass. Oh, speak of the devil. We have our, well, an encounter with Professor Oak, a wild Pikachu. Professor Oak used the Pokeball, and just like that, Professor Oak is our god because he just caught a Pokemon at full health with a normal Pokeball. Yeah, um, Oak is a cheater. <laughs> a Pokemon can appear any time in tall grass. You need your own Pokemon for your protection. I know. Here, come with me. Oak. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, and we have a wonderful journey, and we begin it all with Professor Oak taking us to his lab. We see Blue's already here. Gramps, I'm fed up with waiting. Yeah, relax. Relax, we're right here. Hmm. Blue, why are you here already? I said for you to come by later. Ah, whatever. Just wait there. Look, Kaiser. Do you see that ball on the table? It's called a Pokeball. It holds a Pokemon inside. You may have it. Go on. Take it. Hey, Gramps. What about me? Be patient, Blue. I'll give you one later. Well, let's not waste any time. Let's go ahead and let's just... Save, cause why not? It's always a good idea to save when we can. And there we go. Let's grab the ball and blue, just like the douchey is. No way, Isaac! I want this Pokemon. And he snatches the Pokeball. Nice. Blue, what do you think you're doing, Gramps? I want this one. But I. All right then. That Pokemon is yours. I was going to give you one anyway. Isaac, come over here. All right. What's up, Oak? What happens now? Isaac, this is the Pokemon I caught earlier. 
You can have it. I caught it in the wild, and it's not tame yet. You know, it's a Pikachu! And, uh, now with our lovely little buddy, I shall give it the nickname of Tesla. Because it is a Pikachu, after all. Very electric type. Let's see what kind of stats we got on this lovely chonky boy. 11 attack, 9 defense, 14 speed, and 10 special. Now in Gen 1, compared to Gen 2, Gen 1, um, pretty sure as all of you know, only had a special stat. That was your special attack and defense, so they were the same exact stat back then. Also, natures and abilities didn't exist until um, Gen 3, I believe. Right? Yeah, I think in Gen 3 that's when um, abilities and natures were introduced. Or I think at least natures were introduced in Gen 3. Abilities were introduced in Gen 2. I'm not 100% sure. My knowledge is a little fuzzy with that. But, anywho, we see that we only have Thundershock. So, what better you have to do than to head on out? But, of course... Wait, Isaac! Mm, wait, Isaac! Let's check out our Pokemon. Come on, I'll take you on. We take on Blue. Just like any other time. Now, Blue's starter who we would have gone instead if he had not taken it. He has an Eevee, level 5, pure normal type, with the moves Tackle and Tail Whip. Now, this battle can go one of two ways. You can either lose it or win it. That's all dependent on your luck, sort of. <laughs> uh, hopefully luck is on my side today. There you go. You also have the potion, so don't forget that you have that in your um, back pocket. But luckily we got Paralysis, thanks to Thundershock. Hopefully, you just don't land a critical. So, I let the Thundershock once more, and that should do it. Yes, it does. Just like that. And Tesla hit level 6, which is very nice. Now, a uh, very special thing. It's okay to lose this battle, it's okay to win this battle. Uh, but a bonus thing about this is, depending on how this battle turns out and another one coming up, will reflect on what Pokemon, um, which of the three evolutions. Blue decides to evolve his Eevee to. What? Unbelievable! I picked the wrong Pokemon! Yeah, sure you did. <clears throat> okay, I'll make my Pokemon fight to toughen it up. Isaac Gramps Smugulator. Now, if you win that battle and you, um, I believe it's you win the next one. Yeah, if you win the next one and this one, he become, his Eevee becomes an electric type. If you, um, lose this battle, it becomes a water type, and if you want it to be a fire type, it will win. You have to win this battle and either lose or skip the next one. What? Would you look at that? It's odd, but it appears that your Pikachu dislikes Pokeballs. You should just keep it with you. That should make it happy. You can talk to it and see how it feels about you. Alright. Pikachu doesn't seem very fond of us. Now, you can increase its happiness. Through one simple trick that a lot of people enjoy doing, and I don't really mind doing it either, is after the battle, your Pikachu is fully healed. So what you can do is you can just spam your potion on it a couple times, and after a while, um, the Pikachu ends up really liking you. So yeah, that's a pretty cheap trick, I know, but I mean, hey, if uh, it helps get the Pokemon to like me and actually respond to me a lot better, why not? There we go, and now we check. Pikachu seems more happy with us, which is very nice. So, with that, let's go ahead and let's head on to Route 1. And we don't have to worry about any, well, we don't have to worry about Pokeballs, but we have our first random encounter. Our official first random encounter. It is a Pidgey level 3. It's quite interesting, but we should hit it with a Thundershock, and that should take it out in one hit. Boom, just like that. Which is very nice. There we go. Keep on moving, we hear that classic music. We see this guy, let's talk to him. Hi, I work at the Pokemon, Pokemon Mart. It's a convenience shop, so please visit us in Viridian City. I know, I'll give you a sample. Here you go. And we get ourselves our next potion, which is very nice. Thank you, my good sir. You have anything else to say? We also carry Pokeballs for catching Pokemon. Well, that's quite useful. Ah, that's quite, that's quite a bit of useful information. But I don't think we'll be purchasing any right now. So let's just make our trip to Viridian. Um, only two Pokemon encounterable on this route. Pidgey and Rattata, your standard. So, nothing really special, nothing too much to note. Now, I could have decided 
between red, blue, and yellow. Um, I kind of opted for yellow mainly because different starter and a whole way, a whole, like a whole different outlook on the game. Um, I could have gone with red and blue. Red is the original to fire red, and blue would have been the original to leaf green, which is really weird, but yeah. Hey, you came from Palatown? Yeah, definitely. You know Professor Oak, right? Yep. His order, his order came in. Will you take it to him? Yeah, sure. You get Oak's parcel, just like that. Okay, say hi to Professor Oak for me. Yeah, sure, no worries. We will definitely do that. Let's go ahead and let's head on back. Let's keep on moving, keep on schmoving. Now we can just avoid the grass, jump on these ledges. Let's keep on schmoving. And we have made it back to Palatown, unscathed, untouched. Which is very nice, in my opinion. Hello, Oak. What's up? Got your parcel. Oh, Isaac. How is my old Pokemon? Well, it seems to like you a lot. Now, his text would be a lot different had we not done that, but I prefer to hear that because, I mean, hey, we're a good trainer. You must be as talented as a Pokemon trainer. I sure am. What? You have something for me? Let me give him his parcel. Ah, this is the custom Pokeball I ordered. Thanks, Isaac. By the way, I must ask you to do something for me. And just like that, Gramps! We got Blue showing up, like usual. Gramps! Hmm! <clears throat> Gramps! My Pokemon has grown stronger! Check it out! Ah, Blue, good timing! I needed to ask both of you to do something for me. On the desk there is my new invention, Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Isaac and Blue, take these with you. We get ourselves the Pokedex, which just instant, instant transmission from the desk to our hands. <laughs> To make a complete guide on all Pokemon in the world, that was my dream. But I'm too old. Can't do it. So, I want you two to fulfill my dream for me. Get moving, you two. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. Alright, Gramps. Leave it to me. Leave it all to me. Isaac, I hate to say it, but I don't need you. I know. I'll borrow a town map from my sis. I'll tell her not to lend you. Isaac. Ha ha ha! Smell you later, nerd. Uh, the, well, that basically would be something Blue would say. But, as you mentioned, we could get ourselves a town map. So, why not visit um, Blue's sister, Daisy, and see what's up. Grandpa asked you to run an errand? Here, this will help you. We get ourselves a town map, which basically gives us a whole mapping of the Kanto region, which is amazing. Um, but yeah. Ain't much else that we could do except let's head on back to Viridian. And if you notice, we did not get any Pokeballs. Now we could purchase some, however, there's also another trick that you can do where uh, coming up we can get five from Oak after we do a specific um, battle. Now I had mentioned earlier that we can have um, Blue's Eevee evolve into a certain kind of Pokemon. Either it's water, uh, electric, or fire variation. As for each different typing, it all depends on what you do. For the electric variation, you have to have beaten him in the first battle, and then in this upcoming battle, which is totally optional, you have to beat him again. For the fire variant, I believe you have to... No, for the water variant, you have to lose the battle, and then for the fire variant, you have to... Um, win the first battle, but then lose or ignore the second battle, which is this one right here. Now, if we head all the way to the end and head all the way to the left, we will find Blue ready to take us on. However, since we're kind of lackluster in levels, as you can see, I think I'm going to end this off here and go ahead and do a little bit of grinding off screen. So, if you guys did enjoy this first part, please show us some love and support, hit that like button, Comment down below what you all enjoyed or would love to see. Share with all your friends, family, or anyone you think might enjoy this type of gameplay or commentary. And check out all my other videos if you're at all new. And also subscribe. That would be deeply appreciated. Thank you guys all so much for watching. And I will most definitely see all of you dudes next time. Peace out, everybody.